Midjourney has announced a number of upgrades to version 4 and it just gets better and better. Version 4 now supports style and stylize. Stylize changes how artistic you want your art to be going from zero to a thousand. Stylize allows you to either give Midjourney complete default styling control, which is great for outputting images that are always going to look aesthetic and pleasing to the eye. Whereas a lower stylized value gives you greater control to get more specific looks, but you run the risk of messing it up and creating things that are completely hideous because we have no taste like Midjourney. Having a higher number and tells Midjourney to put its own spin on your work. You can see that it's defaulted to a very highly detailed, sophisticated, stylized, almost CG animated version. Whereas with the zero stylization, it's given us greater control and more closeness to our original prompt. The next exciting development is the style argument, which allows you to pick style biases from their model. There are two options currently available. 4a and 4b. By just appending these parameters at the end of your prompt you'll get slightly different results but it's important to also include a c here to see the differences between this. These images using the same prompt with style a and style b. Style a certainly gave a much more zoomed out painterly feel while style b gave a more documentary film aesthetic. Upscaling these style a is uh, more dreamlike while style B is more lifelike. However, on a second run round on this, you can see that the uh, outputs are more nuanced and A is giving a more refined color palette and B is giving higher contrasts. I'll be interested to hear what you notice about the difference between A and B. People are commenting that although 4A might have slightly less coherence, its saturation is down and it's a little bit brighter. People are noticing a lot of improvements in sharpness, some backward steps in composition, and an increase overall in aesthetics. So you can certainly see in A, there is slightly sharper quality to the images, lower saturation, and they are brighter. With 4B, they look to be more saturated, less sharp, and potentially a little bit more coherent than A. A couple of other minor updates that have been included in Midjourney are model upgrades, both regular and upscaler have been updated. They allow for sharper visuals and less undesired visual artifacts. Both should do slightly better with small details like eyes and facial features. And I have certainly noticed a distinct improvement in fine facial features. They've also included some bug fixes in this update where they fixed multi-prompts and no arguments. So they act more intelligently and allow you to define literally what you don't want to include in images. Once again, Midjourney has taken a major step forward, giving us greater control over the latest version 4 algorithm, allowing us to use the important parameter stylize, gives us more control over how much influence Midjourney is putting into our images. I am astounded at the progress that is being made. And if you want to learn more about Midjourney, I have an entire course where we go through every single feature and we craft a number of projects together. If you're interested, it's on sale now. I'll leave a link in the description below. I'm curious if there are any videos that you would like to see on AI art. And if you haven't subscribed, why not? Jump on board to stay updated with the latest AI art news. I'm Samson Vols. This is Delightful Design. Have a delightful day.